I'm sorry in advance, but I'm throwing you a complete curveball today. I know I said we were gonna keep going in order, but today we're gonna be doing not only intermediate, but we're gonna be doing shoots. Now I wanted to take it even further and do advanced, but apparently you have to beat an intermediate to get advanced. So we're gonna be doing one of the hardest intermediates in my opinion, which is gonna be shoots. Now you may ask, why are you doing this to me? You said we were going in order, but basically I beat skates at a first place time, like a really good first place time. And I feel like we should just kind of let it sit there for a little bit. Let that one soak in. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat that, especially on like something like Lotus Island. And I'm losing my sanity doing all these beginner maps because there's like 3 million of them and they're never going to end. So I figured, hey, let's change it up a bit and let's change it up even more a bit by doing a harder map. Now, shoots is difficult. I've had problems with this map in the past, but I don't think we will today because we've learned a lot and we have our girl Sada. And what else we also have is this almost unlocked. We almost have where we lose Boab health or all Moab class balloons spawn in a particularly damaged state, which will be super, super helpful. So on top of that, I'm even going to cheat a little bit, guys. And by that, I mean, I'm going to collect just one achievement, just one over here. We collected Superior Bloons Master. Beat five maps in chimps mode. And now we get two monkey knowledge points and a thousand monkey money. So guess what? Now we can go straight over to our monkey knowledge, get that military, and now we can unlock this one because we have well than enough money and we have enough monkey knowledge. And boom, we unlocked this one last time. Two thirds of our military price for our first military tower. And now we have damage state Moab's shoots is going to be super simple. Now, for those of you leaving angry comments right now saying, what the heck, man, you betrayed us. You said you're going to go in order. Well, I think that this will be fun too. And for those of you following along with this as a guide, I mean, you can still follow along. There's nothing that I'm doing that you can't do as long as you just follow along. But now that I'm about to hit play, Sada might not be the best hero for this map because I'm going to place her here. But that means we're wasting a lot of time for balloons to come down this side and the balloons to come down this side on the following round. So is there a better hero for this? Ben might work out because we get the money. Etienne has the UCAV on level 10. Oban has his trees. I think Ben might be the play here. Sada will be a nice backup, but Ben giving us that extra money and those Trojans will help us get through this a lot faster. So this might be a Ben play here, which is a little weird just after me talking so much smack saying that we don't really need Ben for speeding, but what is a better one for this? I don't actually know. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit our time frame going forward. We're gonna go boom. And then we're going to grab play and then we're going to hit right here. And I think this should be enough for this. And I think what we're going to do too is place another one here. And then we're going to place a tower here. And we're going to try to tack everything in the beginning. It has this cool little angle at it, like this little V sideways V shape that knocks everything out. And if we can put tacks everywhere, we can kind of speed through this. Now, what we are going to be doing, since this is now an intermediate map, we're going to have a one final score at the end of all this to see which one's the fastest, of course. But we're also going to see... Oh my goodness, I'm not even upgrading. I'm just sitting here blabbing. We're also going to see in breakdowns of their difficulty. So we're going to have a beginner one. And as you've seen in that spreadsheet, those are green. We'll probably change intermediates to blue. And then you'll be able to not only see what's our fastest, fastest time out of everything we've done, but what's the fastest out of intermediate, what's the fastest out of advanced, what's the fastest out of beginner. Because this is a lot different. This is our first double-sided track, I think, right? Yeah, this is our first like actual map that might give us some troubles here. This is going to get kind of crazy. But I also think it's a very good map to set the tone too, because it is a more difficult one, but we have a good amount of monkey knowledge now. We don't have all of it. We don't have everything that could make this completely super much easier than it is now, but we do have a good grasp on what we do have that can just make this as fast as it could be, I think, for the most part. Like, without getting too sweaty is what I mean. And I don't think we're going to get too sweaty today. We're just going to try to win. And using Ben, I think, is a way to kind of, like, meet in the middle. Like, Sada would be really, really good for down here, but we're going to lose a lot of time waiting for the balloons to get to her. So, eh, not the best. But Ben has a Trojan. So, there we go. But look, we're still messing with it anyway, still getting down to where Sada would be. So what should we put here next? Like maybe bombs? Should all of these strats be double strats now? That's going to be kind of stressful. So what we're going to be focusing on, I think, is going to be like a top path. No, a bottom path plane. Yes, a bottom path plane. And then also a sniper. We could probably get Axis of Havoc on chimps. Have you guys ever heard of the Axis of Havoc Axis of Havoc achievement. That means you get all three fifth tier snipers in one chimps game. We might be able to even pull something like that off in this. I don't want to like get too crazy because I haven't thought of that at all. I just thought of it just now thinking, oh wow, that could be cool because we just need to focus on global towers. 
Now we have lead, we have basic balloon popping, but we're not too good on camo. So I think what we'll do is let's go for like a cheap, simple strat here, like a semi-automatic strat, because we only have one Moab, Moab to pop here. And then really our only concern that's slowing us down is that camo. And Benjamin, I can't believe I just said that on skates. If you guys haven't seen that run yet, you gotta check it out because it was our fastest time yet by a lot, which is insane given that I had a lot of problems on Magic Monkeys only. I know the weirdest one to have problems on, but you gotta see it to see why. And we still managed to come out on top, which is just crazy, but it all depends on the map. So like if we compare this one to the beginners, I'm going to say this might be last place, if not maybe second to last place, because like I think we had some trouble on what was it like town center or something crazy just because it was a longer track. But so far, we're not going any much slower than we would on any other normal track. I'm just more concerned about oof. on chimps. We're going to be using Sada. We're just going to sacrifice the time to kind of let it get down here just because you can't start off with a strat like this. And then Benjamin's really not going to help us out too much. <laughs> But for this one, we are going to have to like solely focus on putting things in the front until we can buy like this one. This is a great tower to have. And that's our first one done already. And then now we have to click intermediate three times. Oh man, that's going to take a lot of time. I never even thought about that. All right. And now we have primary only. So I think we'll start off with like right here and go faster right here. And then how about here for backup, like a last second thing? No, let's just do exactly what we did. Like what's the problem? Honestly, I guess we're going to have to put like maybe just like a couple triple dart monkeys. One here, one there. Triple dart with the bottom path. And that should cover pretty much all of our problems. This is the part that's going to take forever is just when you miss, right? Quick question for you, though. When you guys start off with tax shooters in the beginning when you're broke, kind of like how we are now, do you guys go with the bottom path upgrades first, a mixture of both, or just the top path upgrades? My goal is to always go for the top path upgrades first, like get even faster shooting then buy the more tax. But then since more tax is only like 100 bucks, it's usually more beneficial or, or I guess plausible to go with that one since the other ones won't work. Well, now I'd like to shoot straight up for Ben to at least get that money and to get that Trojan going. But I know we're, I'm 15, we're going to end up losing something here. I always get a little too greedy, but really it's only going to cost a couple extra seconds. So it's not too big of a deal. Now what I'm going to do is place a dart monkey here and then a dart monkey. Which one's going to have the camo first? We're on round 15, so camo is going to be over here first. So we'll focus on that. But we need them both for both of them anyway. So I think we'll just get the 340. And then, oh, see, that's the problem I'm going to have. And then we have to wait for him to get all the way over there. That's not good. So we'll get triple darts and we'll try to get triple darts here. And that actually wasn't too bad at all. It was super easy. I'm kind of finding it funny how I always praise primary monkeys only for the beginner modes. And now that I'm on an intermediate map, I kind of hate it because it's not doing as good as it should. <laughs> and it might be my tower choices and stuff, but it just it's really not what I want it to be. It's kind of being bad right now. And everything's just taking a good while. But I think... I think, I think, I think if we can just get a couple, wow, this is actually a pretty good team. I'm thinking maybe just like a sharpshooter on the bottom here just to kind of clean up anything that happens. So like right here, but I think now military only will be the best for this one. This will be the one that I praise or probably actually magic monkeys only because spirit of the forest would be so good on this map because it's so long. I think everything will just start popping like right here, which won't take too much time. I'm talking like BFBs, uh, ZOMGs will pop probably right here and that won't be that bad. But tell me, nothing is set in stone because I jump around crazy. My mind's never made up. I feel like I have 10 minds inside of my one mind. But if we were to continue next, what map did you want to see in Intermediate? Or, or actually, since we beat this one on Intermediate, we will now have an advanced map. Should we move on to advanced? You guys got to let me know. Not sure I'm going to follow it because we kind of went back on this one. And to all of you, like I said, don't hate me. Don't stop following the series because we jumped ahead. Because I really don't see that many people using these as guides, right? Like, I know a lot of you say that you are, but I think that's just in the comments compared to like the views versus how many comments you get. I don't think that many people are actually using them as guides they're just kind of hanging out right because they're very lackluster as far as guides go i'm not telling you everything i'm doing i kind of just say put this guy here put this guy there and then i like freak out on things <laughs> and so it'd be kind of hard to use but let's keep moving here this is gonna kill me just clicking this one a lot but i'm getting used to it here's deflation Ooh, what are we gonna do for deflation okay so i'm gonna put benjamin down and then we're going to put this guy here oh this will be good this will be good put this guy here we will buy this one and then we'll hit play Okay, that'll work for now. And then we'll hit... I kind of want to get rid of this thing here, though. Yeah, we're going to get rid of both of these. That's $700, which is kind of stupid, but whatever. And we'll go like this, this, like that. And then we'll put this one here. 
<laughs> See, saying putting this one here, that one there doesn't really help. But I think sub is the best. Like, so I've been doing a lot of the collection event and I'll get to maps that I kind of am pretty bad at. And it's really nice to have the sub because he just kind of shreds through everything. Even on bloody puddles, I'll just set up a few dart monkeys exactly like I have here. I'll throw a village down sometimes. And the next thing you know, we're just getting it wrecked through. Now, I think what we do need to do, though, is this is what always gets me is 59. So two of these guys, uh, I could have just seen which one will actually be 59. But those, <laughs> those camo leads always get me. So let's just play a little smarter. And then I think we could even speed it up. Would you guys go with a village on this or would you probably just go like this? This is probably cleaner, right? I just realized I perfectly ended up with zero dollars which i never really see that's really awesome and ben is the way to go i know you don't end up getting as much money for popping things open with this trojan but he is making it faster at least appearing to be faster at taking out these moabs because as soon as he trojans them and these three team over here just kind of chop them up it's done for and the sub man i know i get a lot of people saying use like the snipers and stuff for the deflations but man the subs are just so good and they don't let you down like, it's a guarantee they're going to pop everything except for 59. It's those camo leads every single time. But other than that, like, you just put a few dart monkeys, which are super cheap, and you have this global tower that I think outperforms the plane, right? Like a regular Spectre, because when you have, like, the Supreme Commander, what's his name? Sub Commander? Oh, Sub Commander. Duh. Duh. He's a sub. When you have the Sub Commander, that thing just shreds through everything. It's almost as shreddable as, like, the Avatar of Wrath, when you just watch everything go and just kind of disintegrate. At least that's my satisfaction with the sub. I love the sub commander. But just a small little cheap wizard stops those 59 just from destroying me, which is great. So that was easy. We're already on to... Are we done with beginner already? I always forget, but I think we are. Yes, there's the poopy brown border. Let's go on to medium. And for this one, uh, same idea, I guess. Just uh, hit play and then hope for the best and then put some tax down. Okay, and then put another one here and another one here. And then I guess a sniper? The tax just kind of what I got in my head. It just seems to be working, but maybe it might be better just to go with subs off the go because subs would be cheaper to get just one and I wouldn't have to split up two different strategies, but these tax are working pretty well. So, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I have an idea for what I'm going to do for chimps. Let me know below your predictions of what we're going to do to make it work. And I'm talking the first run through. I'm hoping it only takes one run through of chimps to beat this. I have not practiced any of this. I literally was going to turn this on and play Lotus Island. And I'm like, you know what? I don't want to play Lotus Island. I really don't. That map stresses me out. It has no perfect symmetry like shoots or cubism or logs. It just is it's curvy in the weirdest places and I don't like it. So I, you know, this is all off the cuff. So hopefully we get through this with no problems. I don't want like a six hour time frame, you know, that's going to be the funny part of this series though, is as we get into these deeper, harder games, like this is one of the hardest to me on intermediate, but like raked, I think raked would have actually given me some troubles and, uh, that would have probably taken a lot longer. So you might get like, let's say three hours on shoots and then like four and a half hours on rake because I keep losing on chimps. That would be hilarious. Oh my gosh, I don't even have Benjamin yet. I always do that, oh my goodness. I'm just so like into getting a faster time that I don't even think about my hero, which proves you don't really need a hero. Like you do, but you don't. Like you can use them for your benefit, but you don't need them. You don't have to rely on them. So I guess I'll get him before I get the tax prayer, which might be a bad play, but whatever. Yeah, I think sub's the way to go because then when you mess up and you have to like wait an hour, he'll just use his advanced intel and it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, sub's so cool. Yeah, dude, 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 sub is so good. Don't let anybody tell you differently that the sub is not the best tower in this game. Like not my favorite, nothing like that, but the sub, I used to say like it was between the sub and the ninja, but I honestly think that the sub is like the best. It's so good. And then if I just go like this, now I have camo and then I don't have lead yet, right? So we'll have to do this. But what did you guys think about getting the Apex Plasma Master in Impoppable on skates? I thought that was really cool and I thought that farming worked really well. I didn't get too many comments of you guys like letting me know if my farming was bad or good. So I'm just gonna try it again because it worked and it seemed to get the job done relatively fast and we had enough for an Apex on Impoppable and it made the 90s just instantaneous. So I'm gonna try something similar. I don't think I'm gonna farm as hard enough or fast enough to get an Apex, but I'm thinking at least like the bottom path plane could make this map just non-existent. The Flying Fortress would be ridiculous. Now I'm going to do my best not to abuse the sub this whole game and just use it over and over, but we just saw it destroy round 60 in deflation. So there's no reason why getting armor piercing darts and then what we already have here won't just wreck everything that comes at it. 
And if we pair it with a couple of sharpshooters at the front, you get a lot of range. So we have this whole area covered. We can pop lead, we can pop camo. Our lead's pretty weak because it's just based on the alchemist, but I mean, it works. So I'm thinking about getting something else for something like 59 and above. I really liked my plane idea just because it's a great tower. So what if we just tossed in, well, we could do like a double village little benefit over here. So we can like throw him right here and go with that one. Well, now that I place the towers and start saying it out loud, it's a bad idea. He still doesn't pop lead. I'd have to get another alchemist, but I guess my saving grace could be, what's a global lead popper early on? There really isn't one, is there? I'd have, oh, I guess this guy could work. Yeah, we could just go with this one and that'll cover our problems. And that should handle 59. But I mean, we're not done. We still got a lot of time left here and we could just buy more alchemists, buy like a large Calibre. You guys are giving me, everybody in my comments was saying that Glive is not how you say it, but yet you guys spell Caliber Calibre. Like America is the land of the guns and we spell it Caliber. Like you just switch the E and the R and that makes sense. Like it's, you know, it's like a nine millimeter. And that makes sense. You know, it's like a, the Caliber is nine millimeter or, you know, 308, whatever it may be, but this is just Calibre. Like this just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't, but we're gonna go like this and now we can pop even more camo lead. <laughs> oh my goodness. We, let's just all agree that the English language, no matter where, if you're from the UK or you're from America, North America, like English language sucks. Like it just makes no sense and it just does stupid things for no reason. Like we can all agree with that, right? Like there's this funny guy I watch like YouTube shorts or TikToks, I guess you call them on, where he just goes over the English language and he'll be like, spell the word phone and then spell fun. And then it, they say pahun or whatever it is. He just goes over all the like weird nuances we have of our language. And it just, I'm like sitting there and I'm like, I speak English and I don't even understand what's going on. This is wild. So don't judge me for how I say words. Or judge me all you want, I don't care. Free country, <laughs> you do you. But there we go already. That was pretty easy, but it took way longer than I thought, even though we had like the sub. So how could we speed this up? I think the plane was the way to go. Oh, well, now we don't have an option. We gotta go with the plane. So I think for this one, we're gonna have to go, I don't actually know. I gotta hit play though, let's try that. And then we'll just start with the sub and hope he long ranges it. Okay, this is gonna be our plan for now. That's so gross. Did I mess this up? How could I have done this a little better? I'm thinking, oh, I probably could have bought in a plane first off and that would have been a little faster. So I think I'm gonna grab advanced intel first and then start throwing random stuff down. Like even a sniper's range will help out a little bit if we ever get there, oh my goodness. This might not be the worst idea at first. Okay, I like this. And then the sniper's there too to help out. And if we put one on each side, it should speed up the game significantly. I think the discrepancies between times on map is gonna be wild going forward here because we're gonna have such different kinds of maps where things are just gonna get crazy. Like for instance, the map balance. That one seems like one of the easiest maps in the entire game, but you have to wait, to, what, 20 minutes for them to get to the middle of the screen. So unless I start doing my tack bomb strat up front, you can't just throw a sub down and hit the front of the track. You can't throw a sniper down and hit the front of the track like good enough like you can here. And so we're just gonna be left with weird stuff on both sides or waiting until it gets to the middle and just having like a super elongated strat. So these things are gonna get start getting weird. We're talking like, I'm thinking we can knock this one out, honestly. I, and if I don't make any mistakes, I'm gonna shoot for the fences on this one. I'm gonna say like two hours and 30 minutes. I really think we can. But like balance might take three hours just cause it's gonna take literally forever. I'm wondering if I can knock out two birds with one stone on here. So like, if I can hit there, oh yeah, cool, awesome. Okay, that's our lead popping, and it's gonna be a merchant man. Can I do it on this side too? Oh yes, okay, that's not bad. So we got some lead, and we're gonna get some money. This is great. I'm gonna super greed here, because I think I have a really good plan. And my plan will consist of making a ton of money, but also having these guys help pop. And the reason why is because if I can get enough money, I can just put dartling guns on either side and just make this super fast, I feel like. I could be wrong, but I feel like. And if you feel something, that means you're right. That's how it works. And then we can sell each of these for $3,000. So my kind of my idea is to sell those for 6,000 after we buy these. So we need 5,000 to get a plasma accelerator on each side. So we need 10,000 to get both plasma accelerators after we buy this laser cannon. It's actually not that bad. It's actually really good. Well, here it is. Let's try it out and see if it's a good plan. I, I think it will be. And we'll just grab a plasma accelerator. Now everything will be fine there. Everything will be fine here. That's actually not bad. I think that's pretty cool. No, I don't like it crooked though. We want it right here so it just goes straight down the path. That's perfect. Why is that side better? Does it have a better angle? That's weird. And then I should be able to put this guy in the middle and buy him like that. Maybe remove these. 
I really do need to utilize the plasma accelerators more. They are a great tower. And I may have bought in their cross examination thingy where you cross the streams. I don't remember, but I think I had to. And if that's the case, we could put like 17 of them down and you get that big pool of magma lava in the middle. And then we just literally destroy everything. So I think I'm gonna do that for probably 60, just to test it out. Well, let's try it for this one and see. Does it actually work? Is it making a pool? No, it doesn't look like it is. Oh, well, it's fine. It's. I think we did it, but maybe I'm doing it wrong because I'm not smart with that stuff. We go with this one, there, we're there. Apocalypse with Benjamin. Oh, that was stupid. That was super stupid, but I think we'll be okay. I think I can make it work. So what we're gonna do for this one off the go is a tack, which is a very bad idea. A bomb, a bomb. No, 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 sub, 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 sub. Okay, this is really stupid. This is a really bad idea. I need to get air burst, air burst darts very, very quickly. I wonder if they're called starburst darts. It'd be kind of funny, but I don't think we will because we're not gonna have money and then we're gonna need Sada anyway. It just, you guys know what happens. Once we get to those recursive ones or what do you call those? Ah, oh, the regenerative ones. My mind's already going into haywire mode trying to figure this out. This is very scary to me. We need a bomb right here. Like a recursive cluster in this spot would be so perfect. But for first, I think airburst would be the way, but we're not popping enough balloons here. So maybe we need something else to help out, but we are, we are popping. That's all that matters. Oh my gosh, this can't, this needs to hurry up. This is the part I don't like. It just ramps up so fast. Like you're doing fine. And then all of a sudden it's like get wrecked and everything just goes downhill from there. But I think if we do this, okay, there we go. Airburst is clean. And if we can grab 500 for advanced Intel, we can start throwing dart monkeys at the top and just getting those extra pops that will really, 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 really help out. Okay, there's our advanced intel. This is actually getting kind of worrisome already. I just need that influx of cash, but I just don't know what we're gonna do. And I don't remember what, yeah, camo already at 18. There we go. So lead's gonna be coming out here pretty quickly. But this is one of the reasons that I really, really, really enjoy using the sub is because once he starts throwing those darts around, especially the airburst ones, they just go in all directions. So just having him shoot in this direction will have them go a bunch of different other places too. So it's not the worst thing in the world. Now I wanna get more camo coverage, but also I need lead because I feel like it's gonna come out any second here. But I think camo the play and we get more range from it too so i'm just gonna be smart about it grab some camo actually i'm gonna do something stupid here instead of going for something else like a bomb we are handling it pretty well with this long range and then we get wrecked <laughs> okay. okay are you kidding me are we gonna lose no we're not we're, we're good oh we just oh my goodness okay i'm not doing this this is not what i expected at all okay where you at sada like can we click her or are we just now i'm flustered now we're all over the place here we go Dude, that really bums me out. I knew I should have, and I also knew I should have hit home, but I honestly thought we were gonna make it. I only, I saw 40 lives left, and I saw like a couple greens and some reds, so I didn't see why that did so much damage, but I must have missed one that slipped by or something. Sada's the way to go for this. I just thought we could handle it, uh, but maybe our skills aren't as up to par as we thought they were. Maybe we do need to take a step back and breathe a little bit before we get into these big boy maps, but I mean, come on, I've been playing these intermediate maps and doing strategy since like the beginning of time. You think I should just have this stuff down by now, but do I remember doing Apocalypse? Not really. But realistically, that should have only been like a couple minute time waste. That's why I'm not too stressed about it. It's just, that was my fault for leading with airburst starts. Who does anybody else do that? Do you lead with a sub and then get airburst starts before you get into the rest of your strategy? I don't know anybody that does that. I just think that was my downfall. I should have thought about that smarter. Now I can get an airburst because I have my advanced intel. We're cleaning up some stuff here. We got Sada in the backup and we do have our ability in case it gets even further. So we're in a good spot currently. Oh yeah, because now he can help pop the camo too because of Sada. That's actually really, really good. Now in my head, I was debating between an, a druid. So the middle path one that has the really cool thorn swarm thingy that also makes the regions go away or a bomb and i thought the recursive cluster would be great i think i'm still gonna get it but it is faster to go for that druid of jungle first and it'll make sure that we don't lose the recursives why do i keep calling them recursives regeneratives we don't want to lose the regenerative regeneratives this early on because that would be lame that's what would just happened to us honestly so I, I have to do it i have to buy one right no, 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 now the, oh my goodness. You see how this works? Oh, this game stresses me out. The second I buy a farm, it's like the worst timing in the world. How does that always happen? I, it's like I know in my head. It's like I know what songs can be played on the radio and I still pick something stupid anyway. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to upgrade you to, and I just bought that too. Dude, you're so stupid. You're, you're the worst player ever, I swear. Okay, let's try that again. We're gonna buy this one and then I think we should be okay, hopefully. Will this be enough? And then Sada can clean up if it's not, I hope. Dude, because he doesn't know which way to go, does he? And then that's gonna go both 
ways. Are we good? Are we good? Okay. But he's not gonna be able to take that one out though, will he? Oh my gosh. Okay. No. Okay. There we go again. We lose again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is awful. So because I didn't, what, what did I do wrong? Because I didn't have a million dollars saved up somehow. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of you completely, and we're gonna buy this one, because that's all we can afford to do right now. Okay, now, you, now you're buff. Can you do that? This game drives me nuts. Okay, just pop this stuff. How about you pop it? Do your job. Okay, so now we need to make him see camo. There we go. We'll make him faster here. We'll use Sada's ability to help out, and then I need to get $3,000. I think I have a too overly buff alchemist. I can't believe that took that much time, though. I'm actually, I'm, I'm mad. I am mad right now. Okay, we beat it. Gosh, that took way too long. I'm done. I will never play that one again in my life. Okay, reverse. This is going to be even worse, right? Or it comes out of here, so it's actually not the worst. We can put Sada down and it won't be that big of a deal. That's not that big of a time waste. So for this, a sub would probably still be the best play too. I was trying to change it up a little bit, but this is why you end up just using a lot of the same strategies for those advanced expert intermediate maps even because they just work the best. Like any other thing I'd try to use isn't gonna be as clean as just throwing down a sub, two dart monkeys, and an alk buffing that sub. But we'll try it a little bit differently here. I think if we get two grape shots, it'll be a little bit faster. But we gotta make up time for that last one. And I'm pretty sure with Impoppable, every time you hit home and restart like that, you're getting a completely different loadout, right? So it's just like shoot for the best one that you can get, I guess. <laughs> Did I say two hours and 30 minutes? We might be able to make it work if we can go fast enough. But seriously though, like what are we gonna do with half cash? Just, just give up and lose? So I would have definitely changed that last strategy up a bit though. I would have never gotten the recursive. I think that's where I went wrong. And if I didn't do that, we would have been probably fine. If I would have just put all my money into the sub off the go, I didn't know the sub was that strong on it on Apocalypse. I thought for sure I needed like the craziest strategy ever just because of how strong everything comes out. You just get 47 Moabs at once, but I forgot how great armor piercing darts is, especially with a sub. It's kind of crazy to be honest. But here's what's really crazy. So we have those two guys there and they're not, no, I didn't go for like straight damage boats, right? They're the weak ones, but they're making us some money. But then this guy's gonna come along and do better with a basic setup that we could have had on like level four that these guys are already bought up for and don't even do well. Like the sub is just too good for his own good. If that makes sense, quote me on it. <laughs> and then with just, how much does this cost? 200, 290, $490 times two so about thousand bucks i get full range of the beginning here with just one sub rather than spinning i'd have to get the top path right to make him actually viable i'd have to get the two two zero boat and then i'd have to still buy a camo tower so he's just way better so my point is is that it's hard not to like use the same towers over and over and again we're not going for like the fastest time you've ever seen in your entire life but we are trying to be generally fast and the sub is a great tower for it but oh my gosh, I was trying to prep playing quad on Impoppable because you get like 54 trophies or whatever they're called for the collection event. Or totems, sorry, totems. And oh my goodness, that's going to be difficult. I can knock out, I think we're going to be very, very fast with Infernal Chimps or just Infernal Black Border. Flooded Valley Black Border might be pretty okay. Dark Castle Black Border. I think even Muddy Puddles. I do not have Chimps down yet, but I have all the other game modes for the most part in my head but chimps might be a little tough. What's your easiest expert map? Would you say it's Infernal or Dark Castle or Flooded Valley? Or there might be some weirdos out there who think ouch is the easiest. If you're good at it, you're good at it, you know? Or Dark Dungeon, I just think Dark Dungeon is awful. That one's so hard for me, I'm so bad at it. But the one that makes me rage quit the most, you think would be like Bloody Puddles because it's so difficult. But honestly, I think it is Quad. Quad makes me rage quit the game. Like if my monitor didn't cost as much as it did, I would probably just throw it across the room or throw it out the window. You know what I mean? Because that, that map drives me crazy. You think you're doing great. You have a great strategy. And then all of a sudden you just lose. And you're just like, what the heck just happened? Why am I losing? And you don't know. It's just because. I kind of like this map better on reverse. It makes more sense. It cuts down the time a lot. Like if they were, I wonder if you could choose because remember in BTD5, you could just hit the reverse button. So you could technically play all of them on reverse. I think you could play impoppable reverse and that would be really cool. So let's say you added reverse into your game. It wasn't a special map like this. You had to pick which one you did it. You can be like, okay, do I want reverse on chimps? I think that would make this easier and be more strategic, but you can only do it once though. It'd have to be one of them. And so you could go like, oh, Impoppable, but Impoppable, we got farm. So I'd go in Chimps Reverse and it would be game over easy stuff. You just put like a sub here with some boats and game over. 
Oh, no, 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 not the collection event. I just got to breathe a little bit because I feel like we've already kind of sacked some time here in the beginning. So I'm not going to slow down. Oh, silver board. It looks good. I'm not going to slow down, but I'm not going to like go crazy here. I think we're going to just keep it calm and simple because that was proven based off what we did yesterday. Because that was proven based off what happened the other day with skates is that I didn't perform my best, but we still did our best, which is so weird to say. That is such a weird thing to say. And if it wasn't for the spikes and the mana shield, why don't we have a mana shield? I don't have a mana shield yet. Oh my goodness. That's probably why we keep losing. What a loser. I thought we had it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so that's not a good idea. It's still hard for me to choose when to sacrifice my time to go for something like a bin, but it looks like for the most part, we don't have any stragglers except for right what you just saw, but they're both at two zero twos. And then we have our dart monkeys here. So I think we'll be okay until I think round 15, we'll lose a couple lives. I'm not worried about that. I'm just more worried about the time it takes the, for them to go to the end of the track over here. But we really do need that bin to start making that money. Well, it's not only the money. We need that Trojan by level 42. Do you guys know what round what's the latest round i could place a bin and still get the trojan up in time that would be a good thing to know because then i could just like wait until that round to place them every single time and not really worry about it too much but we're gonna lose a few dozen lives here though that's kind of a bummer i wonder, I wonder if that's like bad no nah, it should be fine we'll be okay yeah see these aren't doing as good as i thought they would i'm gonna put this guy down here for backup just because i think if i just have a 202 nothing will get past us and we'll be able to make sure yeah He's, he's so good, especially with those caltrops. So they were good there, and then we need something for lead. But we are on hard mode now, so we actually have to step this up and not play bad. But see, it's just me trying to avoid using the sub, but honestly, if I would have had the sub, I'd already have probably two farms by now. He's just so good. Or imagine putting like, oh, that could be really good too, having two of the bottom path balloon traps there. That could be really smart. Cause we'd make money on both sides, like not like crazy money, but money enough, plus it's actually popping those balloons. That's not bad. Oh no, we need to upgrade a double shot here. Yeah, everything just kind of gets overwhelming really quickly and we are waiting till the end here. That's kind of sad. I wanna see how big of an impact this guy will make on this if he does speed it up at all because we have the tax up there popping things. This guy should make a pretty big difference actually. Yeah, he does, he does help. But here's what's sickening about this. Watch me place a sub down just right. Let's place him here, actually, uh, right here. So he's not in range when I put the alchemist on him. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're just going to grab a simple third tier sub, 1190. Oh, we don't have camo though. <laughs> okay, but you get the gist. And now everybody's just going to be fine because I'll put this guy here for that range and that camo, both sides even. And now nothing's going to really get past us. It's just, he's just too good. He's just too broken. That's all there is to it. Then I can buff him up a little bit even. All right, there's my greed. I got four farms here, so we're in a good spot. And now I would actually like to get this bottom path. I think a Spectre would be the ultimate play for here. I do talk a lot of game on the sub, and he is great for the beginning. He's the best for the beginning. I don't think you can argue that. But I think Spectre would be a way better play for the end, just because nothing... I, I used to be able to say, like, everything got past him, but now he's pretty good. Like nothing really gets past him. And if we go like this, now he should be able, oh, I missed it by just, okay, come on, let's be real. Tell me he's not completely on the Druid, but he's not on the Druid. That's ridiculous. But watch how good Ben is when he Trojans those things and they just instantly pop. Again, I know that we're losing money, but oh my goodness, that's just so good. That's so helpful and so speedy compared to Sada waiting for her to get down here where our little ninja is who's doing just as good. Now Sada levels up over time and she becomes even more awesome, especially with that damage over time she does to the chop, the choppy choppies over here. But oh my goodness. And just like that, we have a Spectre. Easy, easy. The biggest, biggest, biggest pet peeve grind my gears of the Spectre is that it's all about his path. And that's what kind of is a bummer about it because he can totally whiff an entire round or just not hit anything based on how he's flying. Because if these balloons fly right here and he's busy shooting that, like in this corner, it's gonna shoot down at an angle and missing them all. But as soon as he swings back around and shoots directly at him, they're instantaneously gone. So he's just a kind of a dumb tower when it comes to that stuff. But eventually you get that monkey knowledge, the winged monkey. Do you guys say winged or winged? Like I would say winged on that one for sure. But as soon as you get winged monkey, everything changes and he's like, a, a, no, no, I don't even say that. Like, it's not like it's world changing, world class fighter jet anymore. He just, it's better. And I think for a final tower, this guy would be great. How much do these sell for? 5,000, we got 20 grand sitting here. We just need 7,000 and we're good. 
I know it's just hard mode, but we're, we're catching back up on our time, I feel like. Tell me this, though, I've been thinking about this. Wouldn't it be faster if I could turn off auto start on 79 and then instantly, as soon as the round ends, be on like total alert, hit play and then hit this green button here for Ben's second ability, that would be faster than letting it pop because it'll already be a BFB and be taken down instantly with Ben's little track down, hack down ability. Or should we just keep going and just plow through it actually? Actually, just throw this here. Just make it super easy for us. Just throw one of these down there. Might as well remove this one and throw one of these. Maybe we can grab an embrittlement. Oh, that should be super fast. Like it should be. I'm gonna try to time it. So I'm gonna go like in my head right now. Did I hit it? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. I mean, maybe that would be pretty cool, but I don't think that's what happened. One, two, three, there we go. Shoots, we're on medium, we're on hard. Okay, magic monkeys only. I used Ben again on accident, whoopsie. And then we'll just start with a ninja. Again, it's gonna start off slow, but as soon as we get this guy to a two, zero, two, we can save up for our Ben. I always tell you guys, just save up for a two, zero, two, and it can like save up for any hero that's not like Churchill. Except for if this was chimps, we'd be done already, right? Well, you start on six, but yeah, then there's like leads and stuff. Yeah, that'd be bad, that'd be really bad. Not leads, you know what I mean. Blues, blues and greens and stuff, not leads. <laughs> My head's so up in the air right now, just trying to like multitask and make sure we don't lose this. We're already at 1100 and we seem to be doing okay. Okay, there's one that got through, not a big deal. Put our Benjamin down, now we're good. Now what I'm thinking here, I think the best play would be go for a Druid first. Cause not only will he help us pop, but as soon as we get that middle path through, it'll be chilling. And then I'm thinking we should go with a middle path wizard, but at both ends. So one here and one there, because that flame thingy plus this druid middle path should keep everything up at the front. And then we'll for sure not lose. I'm just wanted to go as fast as we possibly can. Cause we got to make up some good time here. Oh my gosh. I placed the wrong tower. They look alike. Oh my goodness. They must be cousins. So far, so good though. It's exactly what I was hoping for and it's working great. Now those are terrible for the fact that they just kind of lift the rug. That's a monkey knowledge too, right? We don't have it yet. That's kind of a bummer. We'll get it eventually. I have been trying to use more of the alchemist and going with the lead to gold and then rubber to gold and that is helping a little bit. But I think in this case, we just got to just powerhouse through it and get as much as we can. We're not gonna be able to pop that Moab. It's gonna be completely reliant on his Trojan, so I hope he can do it. Have you guys ever noticed that with Ben, that his Trojan just sometimes won't work and you have no idea why, and you restart the round and then it will work on that same exact balloon. And you're just like, come on game, what are you doing here? And then it just does it just because. Okay, so now we learned this earlier. This is not over the Druid, even though it is over the Druid. So if I place this here, it should only buff the Alc or the Ninja, but will it? Probably not. Let's see, <laughs> I mean, come on. I think what's better than getting this guy up to stronger simulate would probably be the Dragon's Breath, right? I always sleep on these towers, but they're really, really good. And if I have two of them, one on each side, we should speed these rounds up a lot. See, that did a lot of damage and we're Trojan, we're good. Yeah, oh, that was cool, that was really cool actually. Last time we did Magic Monkeys only, we tried to go with the Avatar of Wrath, which was a terrible, terrible idea. We had enough money for it, but it was a joke tower, like a straight awful, awful, awful joke that wasn't even funny. <laughs> But this time we're just gonna play it smart, use spirit and win the game. Guys, I saw the original Psycho film for the first time last night, like the black and white 1960 Alfred Hitchcock with I think his name is Anthony Perkins. I saw it for the first time last night and it happened to be actually Halloween. So I was like, let's watch some old slashers and see what it's all about. Really good movie. I thought for sure, like when you see old movies that say like 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, you think it's like, oh, it's like automatically 100%. Like, a, you know, everybody loves a 1967 Mustang. Regardless, like I've never driven one, but I love it, right? Like it's just like that thing. So I thought it was gonna be like that with those movies. And they're actually just good. They're like, they're made good. They take time with them. They write them well. And you like in the beginning, the guy, I was like, wow, he doesn't seem like a, like I knew he was the bad guy, but like he didn't seem like it. He's very charismatic and cool. And then he, then you see him t like do that switch into like a crazy person. You're like, oh, here it is, there we go. That's where I just kind of get in my car and dip at that point. But all in all, really good movie. If you haven't seen the original, definitely check it out. Out. it was worth watching and it wasn't like too scary or nothing I remember as a kid being super scared of that shower scene and so I, like I learned to shower and put shampoo in my hair with my eyes open so I wouldn't be like <laughs> you know came up behind with some knife wielding murderer guy so it just scared me for a little bit when I was a kid so we need 37 800 to buy this guy right and we're almost on 60 I don't know if we're gonna be able to pop it open so I think what we'll do is we'll sell these two. I know it's probably not the best idea, but I think it is. Because then by the time it'll get here, it should pop. And then we do have our guy here, so I am going to put this 
Come on, take it down, take it down. Yes, okay, you're really good actually, oh my gosh. This is one of the most solid magic monkeys only I've, I think I've seen. I don't know why we're doing so good here. I think it's just the extra money or maybe because we had a plan to go with him first and he's given us $20,000. What a team, this is awesome. But I'll say it once, I'll say it 10,000 times. This is my favorite tower. Look, just look how cool he is. He's just ready, f Moose Jesus. If you believe in the Druid as much as I do, comment below, Moose Jesus, because I love this guy. He just, he's so happy, and you would argue with me because he doesn't look happy, but he's clearly the most at one, at peace. I mean, maybe Psy too, but Spear of the Forest is the most at one, peaceful tower in this game for sure. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even paying attention, and we could have just done this the whole time. Like, I could have even made more damage here for round 80. We could even do more damage. We could put, like, one of these ones, just make it go super fast. There we go, there we go. Yeah, just do it, just do it. That's awesome. Okay, now we are on to, okay, double HP still. We're not even on half cash yet. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take forever. So for this one, I think we're just gonna go with the sub just to make it simple and easy at first. Okay, and then we'll kind of work up from there. And I think my first dart will be here. I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? And just put it right there. And just like that, I think we can save up for Benjamin. I'm hoping this guy will be here for round 28 for those leads so I don't have to buy anything else. That'll be a big bummer if he's not. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yes, that's perfect. That is perfect. And we'll put it right up there where we're talking about it, right there. It should take care of all of them and then I should be able to remove it before 30 so we can make sure it's there again for the rest of them. That is so cool. I love this guy. All right, we're gonna do it one more time on this side as well and then hopefully we get enough money that it's worth it. I don't think it will be like compared to a farm is what I'm getting at, but I mean, as long as it works. And what's actually nice about this dual track like this, you can actually go and reset it so where if it's full or whatnot, you'll get some money and then it'll also reset it for the next round. Like 36 is gonna be a little crazy. That's pretty cool. Cause usually you don't have enough time for it. You gotta slow down, but in this case we do not. But now I kind of regret this plan because now I have to do this every time. Otherwise we're just gonna end up getting kind of yeeted through it. But his guy's already made 2,500 bucks. This one's made 1,500 bucks. And we can switch over to farms anytime we want to. Oh, he did Trojan last second. That was like the worst Trojan I've ever seen, Ben. What are you doing? Oh, that was a double HP Moab. I always forget, but that's why it took so long to beat up. It was double HP. Okay, and this guy took it down on his own triple guns. That's such a good tower. It's so ridiculous. So since it is double HP Moab, the Spectre would be great, but I think the boat's gonna be better for this one, to be honest, because it does shoot those little rockets when the boats come out. Well, when the boat's a big boat, little planes come out, and then those planes shoot rockets, which take down the Moab, which make them better. Because my idea of having like 37 mortar Moab Maulers is not gonna work for this just because of the range I feel like you'd have to have what like 30 on each side would be kind of ridiculous Now the only downside is I need 27,000 by 63. I don't think it's gonna happen. These guys sell for 4,000 That's eight grand there and then I could sell my farms, but I really don't want to so I'm gonna tr I'm gonna see if we can make it I'm hoping we can and then what I'll actually do here is we're gonna do like a cool little plan here It's only gonna slow us down a, a quick little second Actually, we don't need to. Don't be stupid. Just buy it. We're good. We're good. Just buy this and be done. <laughs> I always make silly plays that I don't need to. There we go. That one's done. As you can see, though, it's still not good enough. It's because those are even worse than the Spectre. Remember how I was complaining a minute ago about how if it's over here, it shoots perfectly, but if it's over there, it's not going to shoot down right. And that's what these do, but worse. Look how bad they are. They fly off the screen. They go to other maps in the game when they need to be here popping all these blues. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. And I could just do this too, sell all of these. Yes, and then we can have this Sky Shredder. And now nothing's gonna get past us. That's super simple. And then one last hoorah, we're gonna sell all of this stuff here because we don't need it. We're gonna grab Elite Defender. And that should be good. You know what's another good one too, if it wasn't such a long area, is putting like Ice Shards here. I love doing that. Because then you just get totally wrecked on and everything just goes and it's just gone. Let's see if it actually even makes it that far though. Nope, I used, the, I used the ability on like good timing for once. That was cool. But what we can do is put one up here for round 80 just to kind of end it quicker. But they just keep giving us money. I don't know what to do with it all. I guess we should use it. We'll just go with a sticky bomb if we can. Oh, we don't even need to. Done. Okay, worst one yet, half cash. Would Ben be the best for this though? I don't actually know. Let's actually go with Sada. Let's just make it simple. And then, oh, that's the third time today almost. The third time today it would let me click her. So let's go with half cash. We're at an hour and 31 minutes. That's not terrible. And then we can go with, uh, I guess here, here, and then that's it. Oh, we gotta get one more and here. And I'm glad I placed him second so I can sell him to place Sada right there. Or this would be the best Sada spot, but I kind of messed that up. So we need 
four hundred and thirty-five dollars. And there it is. There it is. There. We, okay, right before that round. Perfect. Okay, is that a terrible spot, or is she gonna be great with that? I think she will. She already has her ability, so I think we're in a good spot now. Again, we're gonna have to abuse it a little bit, but the sub is for shoots. It should just be called subs, not shoots. And remember, we get a two thirds price military, which is amazing for something like this. I love it. And look how scary this is getting already. I don't even know if I'll have enough for acidic mixture dip on this sub. What are we gonna do for 63? I'm actually kind of kind of nervous. Will this fit this guy right here? It should, right? It should, it should be perfect. And then he actually hits the Moab too. Oh, that's great, that's great. Sada, Sada, Sada. Oh, oh my goodness, what just happened? I felt, I just felt like we were on Impoppable and I just lost the entire game. My whole heart just sank right there because that was a very long time to get halfway through this game mode. That was ridiculous. All right, so Berserker Brew should be enough. Are you actually hitting this guy? Okay, he is, that's good. So we got Berserker Brew now. What's happening? What just, what just happened? Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, let's not lose. Let's not lose, please. Okay, we have to stronger simulate this guy. So it's not even enough for him anymore. That's not good. So I'm going to put this guy here so he starts getting a little bit more damage. And then I don't know what we're going to do for <laughs> 63. I keep saying it, but I'm actually really nervous. So I'm thinking, oh, I think the ice is a good play, but just I just don't want to do it yet. Or maybe even another sub. Or what about like a middle path tack? Because then we could just use the ability three times. That would be a guarantee. I'm just thinking also too, like two recursives right here will be golden. But do I want that though? I think I want that more than I want ice. Oh my gosh, I said two, we could barely have one. Can you imagine this? I, I hate that. I hate camo leads. They're the worst. That happens so much. Oh my gosh. I'm very, very, very skeptical here. So I think I'm going to do is go like this. There we go. And then you could take them out. That's works, that works. And then when the second one, I can hit it right here, right there, and then let them kind of like run through it. Yes, okay. And then on the third one, use Sada's ability. Okay, you gotta do what you gotta do sometime team. That worked. And then now we have this one here that should take everything out, hopefully. Dude, are you kidding me right now? It works, but it's just so bad. Oh my gosh, how is this real life? What are we gonna do for like 78? So I'm really trying to get both of them in here. If I can get both bombs, we're gonna be okay. Yes, okay, cool, cool, cool. So now hopefully I should have enough to get them to camo in the some kind of nick of time here. And then that can take out 78, but I can also use Sada's sword and basically, I'm just going to be heavily relying on Sada right now. And I don't know why I'm so far behind. I'm actually very confused at this. Half cash sucks. Let's just be completely 100% frank here. Half cash is awful. And here's 78. So I'm going to use the ability and then hope it doesn't get wrecked on. So there's ability. Okay. That just makes sure that you have no problems. And it'd be stupid not to use it, to be honest. So I think we've made it through here as long as I pay attention. Because it should be kind of quickly after the BFB. No, no, no. It's the BFB and then some purples. And then we're going to just get that second rush. But we have the ability. It doesn't matter. We're good. We're good. We're good. Here it is there. There's my ability done for. I can grab another armor piercing dart. Okay, now I should be able to use her ability there to help it down. And then as soon as it turns into Moabs, hit this one. That didn't actually do anything. That was actually pretty gross, to be honest. But imagine losing it that one because I used it too soon. That'd be pretty goofy. Okay, right there, right there, right there. Alternate balloon rounds, and she's perfect for that. And then we'll switch to Ben for Impoppable. So for here, alternate, go. On alternate, I like to just cross my T's and dot my I's right off the go. So we have our camo popping right here, and then we're gonna have our lead popping right here because that comes out on level 10. Again, unless we just abuse the sub strat and just put a bunch of subs here, which would be the fastest, I think it'd be smarter to maybe put ninjas up front, but that's a lot of money. So a sub is still cheaper while we're saving up for it. There's just no better strategy. You guys gotta like reassure me down below that not every single intermediate and advanced map is just gonna be the sub over and over. Cause that's what it seems like on this map anyways, just sub, 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 sub. Cause look how long, pay attention to how long it's taking. Cause it takes all the way down to get to Sada. Okay, but now we got this guy here and now we can just attack everything up front and it's gonna end way faster. Some will slip through, yes, but we have a sniper for that. And then once we th get this guy to at least twin guns, that's not even gonna happen anymore. Oh my gosh, I don't even have camo on these guys. What a genius. See, those little mistakes are what's costing us time. We're at 150 right now. Can you believe though? I think we did 150 at, was that chimps? Tell me that we didn't start chimps at 150 on the other one. That is pretty crazy. Okay, we don't have enough for this. That's not good. We're gonna go like here and then we don't still have enough for this. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna eat some lives here. Not a big deal. Don't look over here, guys. We'll put this guy in strong and then camo. Okay, we gotta hope that uh, Sada can do this. 
Okay, I'm just gonna, oh, we got this actually. And then just use that. Oh, we didn't even need that. That was actually pretty good. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Now I can go back to mine and my own business. And just like that, we have four farms before 50. And we are gonna change it up a little bit because I really don't like what's happening with these balloons. We're kind of getting dunked on. So I'm gonna grab this guy and then get him up to a fifth tier if I can to Elite Sniper before 63. And that'll cover all of our big problems. And then honestly, I could just leave this guy, I wouldn't say on strong. Strong would work though, but then nothing's gonna pop the regular mobs and we just get destroyed because he would only focus on like fortifieds and BFBs. So that plan's stupid. But we are going to focus him on popping the mob class which leads me to my petition that you guys should help me sign. We would like a targeting for Moab. So we were recently in the last year or two given a targeting for camo. Like the ninja has it, I believe, or is it or this one? Yeah, you can click just target camo. So we need that for Moab. It would be the most coolest thing in the world and we should definitely get it. I don't know why we don't have it already. I changed my mind. We're not gonna use a sub strat. We're gonna use a sniper strat. If we have a bunch of these guys, not only are we making money, but we're also gonna be just like pummeling these things. So with that said, should I sell my farm just to buy more of these? And I think we should be even in a better spot. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start selling these to get up to these ones a little bit more. I don't know if it's worth it, but now I have four of them. That's not bad, but this is already round 80. Oh my gosh. I just like completely didn't even think about it. That was super cool. Can I get one more just for, just for good luck? Okay. There we go. We got what eight of these guys, eight of them. And then one of the elites. That's actually pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. Collect. I don't want to collect. I don't want to collect. Hurry up. It pays to be like better farther into it. So that doesn't keep happening. Oh my gosh. I'm like panicking all over the place now. Okay. Hard. Now we're on impoppable. I am going to go with Benjamin for this one. I think that even clicking this will save me time because he's going to be just that great for it. All right. We are going to start with a sub. We need an easy start here. We're going to go long range on that one. And then we're going to put our free dart for here for now, just to be smart about it. We just need one pop. Are you kidding me? Okay. There we go. We got that one there. And now we just need two more. I'm going to make back up the time and put this in run with the beginner maps. That's what I'm going to do right now. This is going to be pretty awesome. That's the goal anyway, because I think we're just saving time on these. Okay. 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 We can get our bin and then we can do that farming strategy that we did on skates to kind of just blow this thing out of proportions. Put it right there. There we go. Now the question is, can I save up for Benjamin right now? I would feel like I can, but then uh, I don't know. I feel like that's a bad plan, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right. looks like I'm going to get it in time, but then it is on 15. So I'm going to do like a little bit of a, a clever player. I'm going to put them on strong, take out those pinks. And then when they get closer, go like that. And that should take them all out. Yeah. We didn't even have to lose anything. That was awesome. Put them on 540 for this twin guns. This is actually really cool because this map, when I used to make strategies a lot, like back in the day, that was all I did was strategy videos. And I'd, you know, go through every single step with you and guide you through it. So you could literally just copy and paste it, pop this game down. This map, I remember gave me so much trouble and I don't remember particularly why. I don't think we had Sada yet at the time. So that was probably a big reason for it. But no matter what I did on chimps mode, I could not win. I just kept losing to stupid things. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that that doesn't happen today because I have not played it in a very, very long time. But Sada is going to make it easier. Let's be real about that. Okay, I'm being a little crazy here. Um, what am I doing? Actually, I don't even actually know. We need to get lead. I'm, I talk so much, I just forget to do anything smart. Okay, we need farms. That was the whole point here. I really shouldn't have gone for triple guns. I just had my head up my butt. All right, so we're gonna put this one here. And I think it was three farms I did last time, right? So we'll just do that same little farm scenario thing. And then we should have enough to get the sub commander by 63. That should be the game here. But there's our thing right there. So what we're gonna do though, is just to prepare for later, I guess. We're gonna go with this one and then we're gonna buy another one just to discount it. That is a smarter plan. I don't know why I don't do that. Someone in the comments should have at least told me to do that, like to actually save it for that because we're gonna use it again later anyway. Like for this plane, he needs an MIB, so he might as well to put him on camo and, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing? Why did that just happen? What, what the heck was that? Let's not and say we did. Oh my goodness. Just making dumb mistakes again, guys. This is scary. I'm just going to get that one up there too, just to be safe side. And then I guess I'll get armor piercing darts. I didn't want to, but I guess I'm going to have to. That was almost very bad. But point being is we saved $2,000 by having it here. Yes, we don't get it as fast because we spent more than $2,000 on this tower to get there, but we save another couple grand by doing our double MIB thing, which we end up buying later anyway. So it's way better plan to get the monkey town at this discount. And there it is. We can sell. Oh, no, no. We have to buy this one first for 3,600. There we go. And then we can sell this one by this one right there, right there, right there. Okay, cool, cool. I'm going to grab stronger simulator here just so we don't have any problems. 
because I am, I'm going to have problems. I'm being stupid again. So here we go. That one's fine. Now we're good. Why do I put myself in these predicaments? I just, I just, my head is crazy. Okay, there we go with this one. And do we have enough time to actually get this one up to sub commander? I'm a little nervous about my decisions, but maybe. Oh my goodness. Here we go again with this stuff. Those, those drive me crazy every time. <laughs> those Kevlets, I forget about them. So it's my fault just because my head is so far up in wazoo land right now. I'm so nervous, but I think we're actually going to get it. So that's actually really good. Okay, close, close, close. Let's do it. Let's just use this just to get up there a little bit better. There we go. Sub commander. Oh my goodness. Yes. All right. Now we are going to have some leads in the beginning that I don't want to mess with. So I'm just going to go like this. And that was stupid because it's on the other side. Genius. Oh my gosh. Right here. Right there, there we go, there we go. No more leads, leads are gone. And just like that on 74, we have a Spectre and then a fifth tier sub commander. And we need $102,000 to get the Spectre up to a Flying Fortress. Oh, and don't forget since we're near water, we can do this now too. This guy will sell for more, like it's a lot more too. Like look at this is 21,000 and that's 17. Now it's 24,000 and that's 19. We just made three, four, five thousand dollars, but that's four times three, so 12. We just saved like $15,000 when we go to sell everything. That's pretty insane. I didn't know it was that good. Like I knew it was good, but not that good. All right, I'm gonna sell just this one for now because it gives us, it gets us to that guy. And now we can get the Monkey Intelligence Bureau. Oh my goodness, look at this go. Dude, this farming is the way. I'm not, there's nothing you could say against it. Like this is so awesome. I have a perma brew. Yes, I have to collect stuff and pay attention, but we have an ultimate destroying team right here. We could have definitely had the apex. It just wouldn't have been a good tower to have because even with its good range, like I don't think it would have seen everything. So we just still had to wait for it to go down to the bottom, which would have been kind of goofy. That's kind of crappy. Let's sell this one so we can grab preemptive for the DDTs. Now that's going to be non-existent too. <laughs> then we can grab cripple Moab because why not? Oh my goodness. This is awesome. We have made up our time. Can we like last second by this one too, just to get, just to break it. Why not? Let's just use that too. Oh my gosh. That was so fast. Let's go to chimps. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's get our Sada out. Okay. Sada, Sada, Sada. There we go. I'll hit this one intermediate three times. That one, that one chimps. Dude, I'm just getting so fast at menuing. Let's be real. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Except for that part. Come on, buddy. You can try. You can try a little bit better than that. Oh dude, you already lost. Okay. Sada, how are we going to do this? Can she go right here? Okay, she has to go right there. That's pretty silly. So I'm gonna have to grab a sniper. Yeah, sniper first then. We don't get that monkey knowledge, that juicy, sweet monkey knowledge that we used on the last one. But the goal is here not to lose because we're in a good spot that we could actually get like, I think like right at 2.30, like I said. I'm getting pretty good at guessing these two for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so we're gonna grab her for here, right there. Perfect. Okay, let's not and say we did. Let's uh, hit that first one. There we go. Oh my goodness. What a genius. Oh, because she's not level three yet. She's kind of bad, huh? So we'll put her on first and then we need a dart monkey. Okay, so let's actually put him here. He's going to go right there because we are going to get a sub. Duh. Like, of course we're going to get a sub. What do you think this is? We'll grab another one here on this side. Now we got a good little team. I like setting up the base. Like, so I fix up homes for a living. Like we buy homes, we fix them up and then I sell them. And that's my, my main job. And you start off with like a base, right? Like you got this really junky house that has a bunch of stuff in it that people left behind. And it's just, you have thousands of dollars in dump fees. Usually it's, it's pretty gross, but basically after you get it all cleared out, then you do all the demo and you get it all ready to put in. Like if you're going to put in a new wall or you're going to put a new cabinet. So you take out the old cabinets and basically that's what we're doing right here. We're starting with the base, like the foundation. And then once you get going, you're like, oh, okay, it looks crazy. I don't really have the vision yet, but then you're like, okay, I see it. I know where we're going with this and it feels so good. I did just flinch there a little bit though. I'm not going to lie. I flinched when those yellows came through because it was very scary. But now with this, we should be okay. And it's so nice to not have to stress about farming, but at the same time, it's also very gross to watch this thing take forever. So you got to pick your poison, I guess. There's my full metal. And then here is my fast firing, I think. And here's another rule of thumb too, like triple guns takes out 36 on most maps. Like it's usually enough time and enough space that it takes it out. So I think we're going to be safe there. I'm going to take this one out and then I'm also going to take this one out. And the reason why is because I want one more dart monkey and I want him right about like right here. Oh, I almost missed. Oh, that was a bad spot. That was stupid. By one, I meant two. I want one on each side, but that was a bad placement. Well, luckily it's chimps and you can't move it. So, and then this should only hit the sub. Yes. Okay, cool. Now we're near Sada. C36, good to go. It's not the best, but it's still there. And remember, we have our girl Sada who can just go like that. Easy stuff. 
I'm loving this right now. I know I'm getting too big headed and something bad's gonna happen, but maybe we can still persevere through whatever bad happens. And we have 10 minutes to make this up into a really, really good run, but I think we're gonna do it. Here's the one thing that always drove me insanely crazy on chimps mode though, is that you don't know where to draw the line. And by that, I mean, right now, I think we might need stronger stimulant and I'd like to get this guy to a crossbow with quick shots and faster shots and stuff. And I wanna get this guy to main Moab. But doing that pretty much just shoots yourself in the foot and you won't have sub commander by 63. So I don't know off the top of my head. Like I said, I did not practice these strategies. I have not done any preparation. I just jumped into this map right before I hit record. And so I don't know the numbers on it, unfortunately. So basically when that happens, your only really course of action is to just play through and then react to what's happening. See right here on 49, kind of scary, kind of scary. Yep, too scary, okay. So we're not gonna make it all the way, so I, I need to figure out something here to do. So what we'll do is we'll go large calibre, deadly precision. I think that'll be helpful. Yes, okay, that'll be the play. But we'll still have enough for it. I just don't know if we'll have enough to, like we would have had it right away on like 55 or something, 54. But now that we did that, we might have to, oh, oh, we might have to buy more stuff to keep up with it is the problem. You're always playing this little chase game. But we only need $9,000, that's actually not that bad. Dude, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, I had to buy it, I had to buy it. Okay, do we, oh my goodness. Do I have to do this too? That's enough, we got it, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> this is getting way too haunting. Okay, so I'm gonna do it. We're just gonna be safe side, safe side here. I, actually, I don't know. Okay, here, I don't wanna mess around. Actually, can she do this? I think she can, right? If not, I'll have to buy this like last second. Okay, she's the boss, I forgot, duh. <laughs> Okay, so now the trick is we can go a little bit faster. I don't need to slow down as much. We can get these ones up a little bit more range. We'll get this one up more range, have them all help out. Things are honestly getting too close here. It's making me really nervous and we're so close to the carrier flagship too. It's kind of making me upset, like really upset. Are you kidding me? Do I have to buy, what do I buy? I don't even know. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I have to buy something that close to, God, this game sometimes just drives me insane. I cannot lose, like we cannot lose. We are so close. So now I need $7,000, but this guy should help out a lot faster since I'll be starting with him quicker. That was very, very upsetting. That's usually how this game works though, is you're like a couple bucks off of what you need and then you get destroyed. How am I not destroying ceramics though? Like this is kind of pathetic. I guess I need a Moab slower downer, but then I just don't know what to do with that. Like, can I get him in range here? That's just not gonna be that great of a, that's not gonna be helpful to us. It really won't. This is it, this is it. We gotta get it now or we're done. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now we're good. Oh my gosh, I hope we're good anyway. It's like really not that much better. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what are we gonna do on 90 besides get dunked on? Honestly though, if this round can't give us, I have to slow it down. I'd rather slow it down than lose, right? Let's put this guy on first too to help us out to like slow down those Moabs for us. Cause we don't need the ZOMG to go like that much slower. Okay, there we go, we're good. We're not gonna have 32,000 though. Oh, what are we gonna do at 95? Okay, back on first, back on first. Oh my gosh, Sada, you suck right now. You're done, you're done. That's game, oh my goodness. That one bummed me out. I took a huge break, watched a couple episodes of the last season of Lost and ate some dinner because I just was not expecting a loss that late in because I thought for sure, I had a big head about my strategy. I thought for sure it was gonna work. And then when I came in to restart this video and record again, the timer broke. So we have to add to it because it just froze out on us. So we're gonna start it right now and then we're gonna hit play and then get going. Hopefully Sada can hold on just a little bit here. I don't remember what we started with, but it worked. And then we're just gonna not get a boat. I think the boat was our downfall, unfortunately, just because as soon as I got it, I really wasn't impressed with it. It was kind of a joke boat. We saw that. And so, okay, we're we gonna have enough for this? Okay, Sada, what are you doing? And so it's just kind of a big bummer all the way around, any way you look at it, to be honest. We'll put this guy like right here. How about that? How about like right here? I don't know if that's the best spot for him, but it'll work. It'll be something. Oh my goodness, we're already on, already starting off bad. So this is like two hours in the future. I pause the game and then pause my timer. So when I do stop like that, it is definitely in the timer's favor and not my favor because I do like give myself less time even because I hit pause first and then stop the timer, which is a waste of a couple of seconds. But at least if you want to see a silver lining, it gets us ready for an immediate and knowing that uh, or our head's too big. And then on top of that, it's gonna be great because it's also letting me know that 
we have a lot to improve on. So when we do another intermediate, there's pretty much a very slim chance that I won't do better, hopefully, because like I said, I still think we have a chance to not get last place here because Monkey Meadow is two hours, 59 minutes and Town Center is three hours and one minute. But those were also the first and third maps that we did in this game. And so we also had the unadded benefit of all those unlocks and all those stalls from unlocking balloon types and just that's kind of crazy so that's probably has a lot to do with it but still scrapyard is two hours and 51 minutes if we could beat that one which was our seventh map that would be insane it would have been such a better idea to go with a double discount village i don't know what i was thinking all of these towers we would have saved thousands of dollars and gotten everything so much quicker and probably had enough for like an extra middle path sabotage supply line slowdown ninja like we messed up can this guy not attack ice though like does he make it to where he can't hit it oh my goodness i might have just screwed us up right there too huh yeah he can't even touch it that is so gross Okay, so he needs to be on strong because he, he's screwing up the game. Watch me lose over this. What an idiot. I should have gone MIB first and I went glue. Genius, right? Now I'm getting very, 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 very nervous. If we could get the balloon solver, we'll probably be okay. But then also I'm a little nervous too, obviously, because we have an icicle and pale and a balloon solver as our fifth tier towers, which means... We are just completely useless against the big bad. Not to mention 98, we're not gonna make it. So are we actually gonna make $23,000? It looks like that's a, gonna be a big fat no. Only saving grace is the ice tower right now. And he's actually doing it. Oh my goodness, this is insane to be honest. Nope, we're done. Oh my. If you look at the timer right now, look how bad it is. Look how bad, how many times I've failed. This is probably like my sixth try, but I couldn't let the timer run out. Or I couldn't stop the timer, I mean, because I would be cheating. So here we are at like try number 400. And I just said, forget it. We're just going to go with it the powerhouse way. Get the glue gunner first because now anything that gets past us, nothing will get past us. And then what I'm thinking here is we'll just rock a bunch of these guys. Since we have an MIB, we have the sub commander. Why don't we just do this? Why don't we just be smart about it? And we have a double discount. Like these are going to be cheap. And then I think we should add this guy too. Just add everything we can at this point just to make it easier for us. Because he's going to help a lot. So we have slowdowns. We have powerhouses. Yes, I'll throw a balloon sabotage. I think that's a good idea. Can we do it without it though? Can we do it without it? Oh my gosh, we can do it without it. That is so cool. Okay, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Maybe I should buy another one then. Like one more. Oh my goodness. This is actually working. This is actually working for once. I kind of want more subs. Like, I feel like that's what we should do here. We have a double thing right here. I just wish we could fit one more. It's all we need. One more. Part of me is thinking another sniper, but this one put him on first. So like, we don't have any problems on 98. Or should we just go for the shattering shells? I just don't know. I'm going to do it. We're going to get shattering shells here. Yes, it worked. It worked. And it is working. That is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's my plan's working for once. So then I could put it over here and then all these things get, dis get destroyed. That's what I'm talking about. This is pretty cool, guys. It's actually working. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I was so upset. I'm so upset, but now I'm so happy again. It's totally working fine. We could just put it here just in case. Okay, okay. I think those will help out a lot too, right? We can slow it down now just to be safe side too. Oh my gosh, we actually did it. Okay, but can we take out a bad with what this is? Like this seems like a pretty solid strategy. I guess I'm just nervous, you know? Yeah, oh yeah, we're taking this out so quick. Okay. We didn't even have to worry or slow down, I don't think, to be honest. Oh yeah, super easy. And then we could use Sada's ability. Okay, finally. Let's go home, hit that black border button. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. There it is. There's a the black border. FN nine. Ten, nine. So you're not going to believe this, or I guess you will after how many fails I had, but this time of one hour, two minutes and 52 seconds, plus the original of two hours, 32 minutes and 51 seconds comes out to a giant whopping total of three hours, 35 minutes and 43 seconds. That is by far 35 minutes past our worst time. Oh my God goodness that's what happens when you jump too far we flow too close to the sun what's that greek story you gotta let me know but we definitely completed it because that was awful but let's just try to finish it off and go for this mana shield because we need it eventually and i think we should go with this one because we buy heart of oak all the time anyway and now we can buy this one we have our mana shield 
And then we should go for this one because the ninja is actually really good and we use him a lot. So let's just start focusing on things that we use a lot. And then that means we also have enough for a hero. So I want to know below what you guys think we should buy. I'm leaning more towards Geraldo, but maybe Pat will be good or Adora, but we have $8,000 almost. We might as well use it. I have a ton of emotions running through me right now. A lot of it is just frustration and upsetness from taking that long to beat an intermediate map, but I said it was gonna be difficult and I made it difficult and it wouldn't be as anything like downstream or cracked or stream, but those are gonna be really, really easy. So I'm glad we kind of got our feet wet in the hardest way possible, which is great but maybe we should go back to beginner. What do you guys think? That was insane. I'm glad we got through it, but that you know what that tells me the most though is that when we get to these maps, I will have to stream them and play them for hours until we have a good strategy down so we can get our fastest time possible. But with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have not yet, check out this video where we black border skates in our fastest time yet. You gotta see what strategies we use.